Python global keyword. In this demonstration, we have defined one function that is the function 1, where one variable has got defined and initialized with the value 20. Within this function, this variable x is having the value 20 here. We are having one nested function. Within function 1, the nested function is having the name function 2. Here we have defined one variable x and with the keyword global. So global x. Actually, the global keyword will be used to modify a global variable. Here the x value has got updated with the value 25 here. So this x is a global one. So here we have defined one variable which is of the scope global. So now before calling this function 2, we are printing the value of x. Are calling the function 2 now and we have called the function 2 and then after calling function 2, the value of x is getting printed. So now let us see what is the outcome we are going to have. So here you see here this x is having the value 20 calling function to now after calling function to the value of x has still with the value 20 because the changes we are not going to get here we are expecting that the value might be changing but no change is there always the x is has got printed with the value 20 before and after calling the function 2 because this particular x is having the global scope so if we have if we want to print this particular x then after calling this function 1 we can directly print this x because this particular x is having the global scope that means not within this function 2 or function 1 it is outside of that so whenever you are trying to print the value of x from the from the outside of this function 1 then you are getting this value as 25 i think you are getting this idea this particular global x is actually we are defining one variable x which is having the global scope that means we are going to define a global variable and that global variable is getting updated or getting getting initialized with the value 25 here so this x and this x they are actually corresponding to this x so this x is still with the value 20 so that's why we have got the output as 20 and in the global x the value of x has become 25 here i think you have, you have got the idea what is the purpose of this global keyword usage in this line to define one global variable and to modify uh, with the help of the global keyword thanks for watching this video